My name is Wajid. I work for Leaders in Community. We're based in Myland. Um, my, my role is a development officer. I work on a range of different projects, ranging from young children to old adults. Uh, my name is Rafi and I'm a year 10 student at St Paul's Way Trust School. My name is Halal Ahmed. I work for Poplar Harker. My name is Blossom Young and I'm uh, working for Poplar Harker. My name is Hamza Sheikh and I play as a goalkeeper for a football game. I think it is a big problem across all across London, West London, South London, East London. Um, lots of conflicts have happened because of postcodes. Um, yeah, and it's a, it's a major issue that needs to be dealt with. Yeah, I think it's a big problem. I mean, whenever we talk to young people, they tell us that they really value feeling safe in areas and that they don't necessarily feel safe kind of travelling between one place and another. I think it is an issue. Uh, it's something that can be resolved, but everyone needs to come together to do it. It can't just be seen as the youth service's responsibility or the police's responsibility or the school's responsibility. It's everyone, it's parents, youth workers, young people themselves. Because the biggest, uh, I'd say, biggest champions for anti-territorialism is young people themselves. I mean, you know, look, we've got, uh, at Poplar Harker, we've got a youth empowerment board. Uh, local young people are elected onto the board. And these guys are looking at ways to try to overcome these and things like this that they put on. This is the way around it. So young people are the key to challenging this issue. But also those young people need support from adults, from their parents, from the police, from their schools, from youth services, from all the services around. Well, specifically, if you're talking about East London, yeah, it is a big problem. I, I come across it every day, don't I? Because I, I manage a youth service, so I'm hearing about it. I know about it. The police tell me, young people tell me, parents tell me. So I'm hearing it every day. Uh, yeah, um, I've been robbed a few times and I've, um, I've had problems with uh, area boys as well. So yeah, it's quite a scary ordeal. When I was growing up, I saw lots of uh, ter territorial conflicts taking place in Tower Hamlets. But as I've grown older, I've, I've not seen it often, but I've heard, I've heard it does take place, especially in the popular area. I actually had my mobile phone stolen four times in my area, which is a bit sad. Projects or tournaments like this is very good because like from what I've seen today there's young people from all over Tower Hamlets from different areas, postcodes, housing estates. Uh, traditionally they've had conflicts with one another but today they're all together playing football with one another. Hopefully they build relationships and they can take it forward to outside the tournament. It creates a friendly environment and a little healthy competition for everyone to enjoy. We see lots of young people benefiting from it, you know, young people becoming confident, young people uh, mingling with each other, you know, going to things together. You know, I think one of the issues people, I pick up a lot is, oh, I'm not going across the road, that's that estate, if I go over there, that's going to happen. But these kind of things, look, hopefully after today, I didn't know a few people, I'll know them. If I see them on the street, I can say, all right, mate, how's it going? They can say the same to me, and I hope everyone from here, if everyone took a new friend away from here, that's massive, isn't it? loving today it's a beautiful day we've got lots of young people from all over the place and uh, it's really exciting to see everyone getting on and having some good healthy competition okay. it's such an amazing atmosphere to have around and especially with you know a lot of people around it brings that vibe and presence and strong presence people here from all, all across Tower Hamlet there's black people white people Bengali, Bengali people which are which is nice to see all together talking laughing enjoying themselves no. look 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 what you've got here look at everyone and all right, the competition, there's a bit of fierceness on the pitch, but as soon as everyone's coming off, they're shaking hands, having a glass of water together. That's what it's all about, community spirit. got 
to do much, much more. Um, everybody, I think, you know, the council, the police, young people themselves, I think we've got to do an awful lot, and voluntary organisations have got to do lots more to help bring young people from different areas together and kind of really demonstrate that it's it's great when you do come together and it's really good to bring people in different ideas and, and those kind of things. Events like today certainly help because it's about, you know, football, you know, loads of young people are interested in football, they all want to do it brilliant if we can bring them together to do it but we've got to keep doing more of that football i believe you can get everybody together in football i believe you know it brings that communication people need with each other and postcode and violence is stupid everyone needs to come together to do it Special award, this is the man of the match, Hunter. 